Hello my lovely children. Today we are going to learn a new chapter in a moral science that is habit of prayer. What is written here? Habit of prayer. You must be acquainted with this word prayer. Can you see? Prayer. Prayer, you know whenever uh, you uh, you are very much familiar with this word how every day, every day, every morning when you go to school you pray in the assembly ground. Sometimes you used to pray in your classrooms. Before beginning any new period, you used to pray. Whenever you start any journey, you used to pray at that time. Even at your home in the evening, when your mama lifts up a dia, at that time she used to pray. So it's the word is very much familiar to you. You know, in this chapter, we will come to know what is prayer. Why should we pray? When should we pray? What is the purpose of praying? What are the benefits of prayer? And here in this chapter, we'll come to know about a good girl. Her name is Priya. How does she pray? And what kind of problems she faced? And how her prayer helped her to overcome those problems? We'll come to know about everything in this chapter. Okay, so let's start. Priya is the favorite child of her parents and teachers. She is just eight years old. All the children of her class like her. She does well in studies and in co-curricular activities as well. When there is no class, she used to get up early in the morning and go to the temple with her friends to pray. It's a story about a girl Priya. Uh, Priya, uh, Priya was a uh, favorite of her friends, uh, her parents as well as her teachers. No, uh, she's just eight years old and uh, all all her classmates uh, like her and uh, she does well in studies as well as in co-curricular activities and every morning every morning uh, she used to go to the temple with her friends to pray one day when she got up she felt severe stomach pain mom gave her medicine and hot water to drink but there was no effect the pain did not subside immediately her parents took her to the hospital after the investigation the doctor said the ne she needs an immediate surgery priya felt very sad she felt like crying when she thought of her teachers and friends you know one day what happened uh, when she got up she got severe stomach pain and uh, she started crying as a result uh, her mother uh, gave her home remedy she gave her hot water to drink and uh, a medicine also uh, related stomach pain but when uh, priya took that medicine after that also she didn't uh, uh, feel you know, uh, relaxed. Uh, she was not comfortable with that. Uh, then um, her parents uh, took her to the hospital. And when the doctors checked her after that, the doctor said that uh, Priya needs uh, an immediate surgery. You know, then uh, Priya, when Priya heard of the surgery, Priya, uh, Priya felt very sad. Uh, even uh, she felt like crying. Uh, she recalled her parents. Uh, she recalled her friends, her teachers, you know. She was very sad of hearing that surgery. Mom and Papa were anxiously waiting at the hospital corridor. Nurses in the hospital were busy in preparing Priya for surgery. They gave her a different dress to wear. Their care and concern for her made things easy. Priya was taken to the operation theater by a wheelchair. The doctor said, Priya, I am going to give you an injection. You may sleep for some time and when you get up, you will be all right. So um, then uh, mom and papa, uh, they waited outside um, the operation theater. Then uh, Priya was taken to the operation uh, theater there. Um, and uh, when uh, she was given uh, their, a different dress to wear uh, for the operation purpose. And uh, the care and the concern of uh, 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 nurses that made uh, easy everything and Priya felt a bit relaxed at that time uh, uh, doctor said that uh, the uh, person the doctor was there to conduct an operation on Priya he said that Priya I'm going to give you an injection you must leave for some time and when you get up you will be all right you know uh, the doctor tried to console Priya then um, Priya 
uh, said that uh, doctor mom has told me to pray before sleep shall i pray then then priya said to the doctor that doctor uh, my mother has told me that uh, before going to bed or before sleeping i need to pray so uh, she too uh, she asked for doctor's permission that uh, shall i pray um then surely you can pray closing your eyes and joining your hands priya prayed dear lord i give you thanks for all that you gave me safeguard me when i sleep bless my dear parents teachers and friends priya was ready to sleep you know uh, every day priya you uh, priya used to play, uh, uh, pray before going to bed so when doctor said that uh, uh, when i'll give you an injection you'll sleep for some time then uh, priya um, uh, said that i need to pray before sleeping then what was in her prayer dear lord i give you thanks for all that you gave me you know priya said that to god whatever you have uh, uh, given me uh, i really uh, want to say thanks from the bottom of my heart and uh, safeguard me when i sleep uh, because god uh, god is protecting us that's why priya said that uh, you safeguard me all the time so thanks for that bless my dear parents even uh, priya asked uh, blessings from the almighty for her parents teachers and friends then priya was ready to sleep for the operation who taught you to pray like this asked the doctor and the doctor was uh, standing next to priya and uh, the doctor when uh, he heard uh, priya's uh, prayer doctor asked to priya who taught you to pray like this you know you're praying in such a nice way you're praying for everybody then who taught you to pray like this then priya said it was our teacher who taught us to pray she says that we should pray always priya said that my teacher my teacher has taught me to pray like this to pray for uh, everyone and uh, that's why i used to pray like this uh, so when should we pray A doctor asked again the doctor asked to priya when should we pray uh, she said we have to pray when we get up in the morning when we sleep before you take food and so you know um, in a school also uh you have been instructed whenever you take your food before going to bed uh and uh, when we start a new journey and uh, when you get up in the morning you have to pray so priya also said the same uh thing that uh, we have to pray when we get up in the morning when we sleep before we take food and uh, whenever we feel the need whenever you are in problem you need to pray to the almighty uh by then sleep Uh, touched her eyelids and not completing the words she closed her eyes slowly there were tears in the eyes of the doctor he had no faith in god yet he prayed you know uh, then um, uh, priya could not complete her words she, uh, she slept and uh, then um, she closed her eyes then uh, uh, you know the doctor's eyes were filled with tears and uh, the doctor um, was an atheist and uh, the doctor uh, uh, by hearing priya's prayer doctor also started praying and uh, um, and he also uh, said to the almighty that lord protect this child because her life is in your hands these words were told by the doctor and doctor said that lord protect this child protect this innocent child who has immense faith on you and now this child's life is in your hand Now, after a few days, Priya went back home, holding the hands of her parents. The doctor who did the surgery of Priya too started praying. It was Priya's prayer which helped the doctor to inculcate the habit of prayer. Prayer is the greatest wireless connection in the world. You know, after a few days, uh, Priya recovered. Uh, she turned the corner, then she went home uh, by holding her parents' hands. Uh, doctor uh, who uh, conducted uh, a surgery on Priya. uh since that day the doctor uh, had also started praying and uh, uh, doctor uh, you know who had no faith on the almighty uh, he started believing on god uh, then